and today we are talking about some of my favorite spirituals to use in my elementary music classroom i love these spirituals to teach my kiddos because one they have so much history and it's very ingrained in the history of u.s music and lots of other styles of music as well and two they are just a lot of fun there's a lot of really great spirituals so today i think we have 10 or 11 we're gonna go through it was really hard to narrow them down so if i missed your favorite one i apologize i did my best but we're gonna hop right on into it so my very first one is the song peace like a river so if you don't know how this one goes it goes i've got peace like a river i've got peace like a river i've got peace like a river in my soul i've got peace like a river i've got peace like a river i've got peace like a river in my soul now with this song my favorite thing to do is to add some actions these are actually ones that i learned in like Sunday school a really, really, really long time ago, but they're very simple and they're still effective today. I used them with my fourth and fifth graders. So um, we just do, I've got peace, like a river, and that continues. And then when you say in my soul, then you point to the bottom of your foot because it's a play on words like soul, like S-O-L-E, S-O-U-L. So you do that. The other verses are, I've got joy like a fountain. So we do joy like look I'm smiling and then fountain and you pretend to be a fountain then kind of like stand on one leg and it's all sorts of fun and then the last one is I've got love like an ocean and then the fun thing is to do them all together so at the end then we sing I've um I've got peace joy love like a river fountain ocean I've got peace joy love like a river fountain ocean I've got peace joy love like a river fountain ocean in my soul soul and then you do it faster and faster and faster and see who can do it the fastest and it is hilarious great warm-up it's so much fun and just all of those things um before we get any further i do want to mention that i have a teachers pay teachers product that has all of these that are mentioned here with on a google slide so it has all of the different things it has some history it has videos it has the lyrics it has the rhythms it's got the sheet music it's got like i mean it's like a serious serious thing so i will link that down below all right the next one is this train is bound for glory and this one goes this train is bound for glory this train this train is bound for glory this train this train is bound for glory don't ride nothing but the righteous and holy oh 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 talk about this train i like to use this with the little kids and i use a recording of it that has a bunch of tempo changes in it and so we walk around the room and pretend to be a train we also do sometimes do it in our seats and just walk the steady beats in our spot and so we'll walk around the room and as it gets faster we go faster and as it gets slower we go slower and we just kind of match that tempo it is so much fun you can also add it in with things like engine engine number nine and stuff like that the rhythmic elements are a lot more complicated so you can totally use it with the older kids and i've also used that same recording with them and we just kept the steady beat with rhythm stick so that we could still feel the tempo changes and yeah so lots of fun this next one is new to me this year it was actually suggested by someone on instagram and i am in love it's called bring me little water sylvie and it is so much fun it has body percussion which is what makes it super super fun so i'll sing it first and then i will um show you the body percussion so you can kind of see how that is i will also link moira smiley i think is her name has a video of teaching the body percussion she's the one who arranged this in the most popular arrangement and so she, i will link a video for um so i'll leave i'll link a video of her teaching the body percussion and also a video of like her conducting choir singing it and all that so you can see everything but this song goes bring me little water sylvie bring me little water now bring me little water sylvie every little once in a while all right so our body progression is a clap pat pat stomp clap and then brush your legs brush back forward stomp clap stomp clap clap stomp clap okay so i'm gonna do that a few times i'm on carpet so you might not be able to hear at my feet but it should make a nice little beat as we go it goes Little once in a 
So there it is. You can totally do just half of it with your kiddos. And when you get to that, Sylvie comes running, then you stop all the body progression, which can be a nice little reprieve if your kids are having a hard time. All right, the next one is a classic, and that is Swing Low, Sweet Chariot. So the song goes, Swing low, sweet chariot, coming forward to carry me home. Swing low, sweet chariot, coming for to carry me home. I looked over Jordan and what did I see? Coming for to carry me home. A band of angels coming after me, coming for to carry me home. So Swing Low Sweet Chariot, that is it. This is one of my favorites. I don't have like super creative ways to use it, but I love to just sing it. It's pretty easy. The kids will pick it up quickly. A lot of them already know it. So what I did with my fourth and fifth graders last year is we went through this train is bound for glory and we felt those rhythmic changes. And then we sang through this one and just kept the beat and sang. And it was just like a really nice raw moment of like, we're just gonna like sing together, which you don't often get with those older kids. It also has both um, cinco pa, so eighth quarter eighth, and dotted quarter notes. So I'm actually using this with both my fourth and fifth graders this year, and fourth grade's learning about dotted quarter notes, and fifth grade's learning about cinco pa. So it like worked out perfectly. The next one is probably my favorite. I use this with the little kids every year, and it's just so great. It's called Follow the Drinking Gourd. So this one goes, Follow the drinking gourd, follow the drinking gourd for the old man is a waiting for to carry you to freedom if you follow the drinking gourd so this song is really cool because it has a really awesome history it was used to teach slaves about the underground railroad by using codes so the drinking gourd a gourd being like a squash that you would hollow that you would harden in the sun and then hollow out and use it as like a dipper to dip in water to drink as in like the big dipper like the star constellation let me i hope i get this right the north star is in the little dipper but the big dipper points at it i think that's correct I think I messed it up last time I tried to explain this, but I think that's correct. And so it's a code for, you know, follow the dippers, follow the North Star, follow the North Star to the North to get to Canada. And there's a whole bunch of different things in there. So the old man is supposed to be like the um, underground railroad conductor and all sorts of different things. Some of the other verses include things like when the first quail calls, which would be in the springtime, because that's when the quails, the birds come out, is in the springtime, and it's safe to travel and just stuff like that. I like to use this with my little kids. I usually use it with first and second grade, and I love using it with second grade because one, they actually do like stars and constellations and that kind of stuff in science, so it like works out perfectly at my school. And then also, I like to do starlight, star bright, and silver moon boat in second grade and those are both like you know constellation night sky kind of themes so you can kind of get them all in at once and it just works perfectly with this song i also like to use this book that's called follow the drinking cord by jeanette winter and it's not just the song it's actually the story of the song but it really helps to explain it especially to the little kids who maybe haven't heard of the underground railroad yet or just like haven't you know kind of wrapped their mind around the whole concept and so it shows um people who are and it has like look see yep follow the drinking gourd and it just kind of explains some of that stuff and there are some parts where it says the actual words from the songs 
and yeah it's just a really good story i will link it down below for you because i would highly recommend it i use this with my second graders pretty much every year again like i just said all right we're gonna go super 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 fast for the next one because i am about to be late for my live call but the next one is he's got the whole world in his hands this is another one of those like we used to sing in church i do it with my second graders because it's got half note in it and they are always working on half note and also it's fun and i will show you the actions apparently too He's got the whole world in his hands. 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 And then you can go through, he's got the little bitty babies. He's got you and me, brother. And then you and me, sister. And the sun and the moon and the wind and the rain and mountains and rivers. I like to do a couple of the original verses and then I like to have the kids come up with their own verses because that makes it a lot more fun. And we just have all sorts of fun with this one. Side note, most spirituals are religious. So do be aware of that if your school is um, not okay with that. I have always taught spirituals because one, like historically, they just have so much historical context that I feel like you should. And it, things like that where it just as he, it's not like outright being like putting God in your face. So I don't use them like to teach about God, but I do use them. So there's that. Um, the next one is Elijah Rock. I love this song because I'm a choir kid and if you have not heard the Moses Hogan arrangement of Elijah Rock, like you are missing out. So Elijah Rock, the melody goes, Elijah Rock, shout, shout. Elijah Rock, coming up, Lordy. Elijah Rock, shout, shout. Elijah Rock, coming up, Lord. And that's the main part of it. And then there's obviously like some verses. I will link the Moses Hogan arrangement below because if you haven't heard it, you need to. I actually took my kiddos to see a college choir and they did this song. I didn't know they were going to do the song. And at the end, they looked at me and they're like, it's so great it's so great you gotta check it out so i highly recommend that one and that's usually what we do with that one is we just kind of listen and sing that part and then i show them the arrangement and we talk about choral stuff and it leads to some good things the next one is so much fun and that is joshua fit the battle of jericho so if you don't know this one ah oh, so good so good y'all i was trying to like come up with my list of what i was gonna include and i was like oh this is my favorite no this is my favorite no this is my favorite right and yeah it just so josh fit the battle of jericho it, it fit like fought it goes joshua fit the battle of jericho 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 joshua fit the battle of jericho and the walls came tumbling down you can talk about your kings of gideon you can talk about your men of saul but there's none like good old joshua in the battle of jericho Joshua fit the battle of Jericho, Jericho, Jericho. Joshua fit the battle of Jericho, and the walls came tumbling down. Right up to the walls of Jericho, he marched with spear in hand. Go plore the ram horn, Joshua cried, cause the battle is in my hands. I'll stop there, but there's more verses as there usually are for like every song ever, but it's so, so, so good. One of the greatest things I've seen with this song, I haven't tried it, I was gonna try it this year, but obviously that's not happening, and is from Miss Wonderly Makes Music on Instagram, and they did a Jenga game. So they were sitting in a circle and they did Jenga, and I think it was on the verses, one of the kids would go and pull one of the pieces of Jenga out, and they would pass it to the study beat around the circle during the chorus, and then whoever it landed on would go pull the next piece out. I'm dying to try it, haven't tried it yet, but I'm excited already. The last one we're gonna talk about, and again, it's not the last one, it's just the last one we're gonna do today, is the song Lift Every Voice and Sing. So if you are not familiar with this song, it is considered the Black National Anthem. It is like the song of the civil rights movement. It is still the song today. It is a huge piece of history and you should be teaching it to your kiddos, no matter who you teach, where you teach. It's so, so, so good. Lift every voice and sing Till earth and heaven ring Ring with the harmonies of liberty Let our rejoicing rise High as the listening skies let it resound high as the rolling sea.
sing. Sing a song full of the faith that the dark past has taught us. Sing a song full of the hope that the present has brought us. Facing the rising sun of our new day begun, let us march on till victory is won. Typically I sing that in a higher key. I don't know why I just started it there, but that's where we are. Um, such a good song, it's so powerful, it brings really good conversations about lifting every voice and just making sure everybody's heard. And again, huge piece of history, so important, so definitely teach it to your kids. There's also a really good book that is called Sing a Song, and it is the story of this song. So it talks about a girl who sang it at the world premiere, and then she taught it to her kid, and he taught it to his kid, and I don't quite remember the order that it passed down in but it just kept getting passed down and passed down and it goes through the civil rights movement and it goes through um, Obama getting elected to president and just like all these really great moments so I would highly recommend that as well we're doing this with my fourth and fifth graders this year and we are reading that book and we are also going to try to do sign language with it because we're still on zoom so i think that would be a good way to make sure they're internalizing the words and even if they don't feel comfortable singing at their house which is the case for a lot of them honestly i understand that then they can at least do the hand signs they're still learning and getting the words and everything like that all right friends that is not anywhere near all of them that's not even all the ones in my spirituals resource on tbt but that's all for today because we got to stop somewhere, right? Um, so I hope you enjoyed this. I would love to know your favorite spirituals. I know I left out a lot. I didn't even talk about this little line of mine or when the saints go marching in or all these other ones that I absolutely love, but alas, we have to stop. So I will leave the link to my TPT resource down below. All the things you saw up on the screen are from that resource. So that's what you saw. It's a Google Slides. It has videos and activities and just all of this stuff. So definitely go check it out. And yeah, thank you so much for watching. I would love to know your favorite down below in the comments and I will see you next time. Bye.